Alrighty then, welcome back to TARDIS Man Let's Play Secret of Evermore. I have been joined, I am joined once again by my guests, Bitwise and Bell Dantazar. Yo. And we are here to see Percival Plank's exhibition of cultural oddities. Witnessing, witnessing conceivable deviations from natural laws. Experience true horror, true terror, true spine-tingling absurdity. Because those three things are of course connected. Believe the unbelievable. Right this way. Come on, come on. Hey kid, would you like to see the exhibit? Have you got a ticket? Step right up. Sorry, Pooch. No dogs are allowed in the exhibition. But he would be one of the unbelievable things. I mean, that shade of pink for a dog. Yeah. Stay right here, Solid Sexy. I'll be back in a few minutes. Stop right there, but you're coming with me. Friggin' dog rapists. What the hell is that? Oh, God. What the f- Did he just handcuff the dog? I no. guess so. The first stop on our tour of oddities will make you ponder the principles of our existence. How did we get this set of purple curtains to be so perfectly tiled? Now, you ask, a cre such creature can live and breathe. There is no answer to your query, it's simply a truth in the shape of... Mr. Head, the man with no body. <laughs> Gee, that's... Amazing that a guy could be sitting in a box. I have an itch on my nose. It's very uncomfortable. Weird! Amazing. Ne this next exhibit comes to us from our far east, near the Midwest, with a stopover in Nantucket. It's a pen. Fantastic, freakish, and full of cheese-producing goodness, I give you the one-horned beauty of... The Unigoat! <laughs> Isn't <What>? she amazing? <laughs> what the fuck? Please, do not touch the horn! Follow me, That's follow awesome. me! There is much more to see! Our next this exhibit. I earlier. Our next exhibit is not for the squeamish or for the faint of heart. This disgusting, vile, gruesome beast will give you sensations of horror and repugnance. It is Beldantazar's mom. <laughs> it has fangs the size of a human femur. Its body is covered from fur and from head to toe. Its it eyes is a so gigantic rabbit. Its eyes are so hypnotic that staring into them will make you spiral into a sea of madness. It is Usa Satsui. Mongola. I don't believe it. Mongola has escaped. I would be very careful if I were you, my friend. It could appear around any corner. Our last exhibit is the most ex recent addition to the show. You will not believe your eyes when you see this rare combination of species. I present to you, for the first time ever, the fabulous, unbelievable... Pig Poodle! What? Yep. Solid Sexy? Is that you? I know you've been going through some changes, but this is ridiculous. Where are you going, Solid Sexy? Guess with power to get rid of that stupid mask. Yeah. <sighs> that was the lamest show ever. Yep. Jesus Christ! Well, there's the next boss, I bet. The pig race is about to begin! 
Oh, how fucking convenient. And they're off. The Truffle Trouble is lead- Truffle Trouble is leading the pack. Wait, a new entry is tearing up the track. Well, yes, because it's a fucking Look at dog. that pig go! We have a winner! Who owns this pig? Uh, I guess that would be me? You, sir, will be the guest of honor at a Queen's Banquet tonight. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, poor dog. He's been doing everything right. Shut up, kid. Ask the Queen if she knows how to get back to Podunk. Oh, the dog doesn't still have the pig mask. Nope. I was hoping we could go through the whole game like that. That'd be hilarious, but no. Oh wait, it is still the pig mask! Hey Solid Sexy, where'd you run off to? Hope it doesn't get into too much trouble. Excuse me? Looks like they're wearing pumpkins. It does. <laughs> that is true! Honored guests and assorted rabble, May I have your attention, please? Dinner will begin once Her Majesty arrives. This is some fancy castle. Heard that Flem the Fancy did the decorating. Flem the Fancy. Everyone! Please be seated, the Queen is about to arrive. People of Ivor Tower, distinguished guests, I pre present to you Her Majesty the Queen! Thank you all so much for attending. We hope everyone has a God. wonderful time. And who do we have here? Yes, Badass McSexy, owner of the winning pig. Great ple pleasure to meet you, Mr. Badass McSexy. Aw, oh, yeah. Call me Queen Blue Garden. Uh, She's got a pretty badass, too. That was terrible. You haven't seen my dog, Good pig, or pig dog, have you? Followed me into the castle and then he just disappeared. Say good night, like my little on that, but... piggy. You shall be the masterpiece of the Queen's dinner. You're not a very pretty piggy, are you? Sacre Blue, you're not a pig. You son of a motherless rodent. What in the fuck? Yep, and so begins the next part of gameplay. Oh god, you got more flickering. No, this is supposed to happen though, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to happen. Pretty... Oh, okay. Wah, wah, wah. You're a dog. Yeah. Now you know why he keeps badass McSexy around. <laughs> Hands. Okay, can't come in here. Hooray, it's time for a maze. God damn it. You didn't even That's probably my least... Hands. You're sounding like a robot again. Yeah, you need some more oil, dude. Is that any better? Yes. You didn't- uh, anyway, I was saying, and you didn't even pee on the statues while you had a chance. Yeah. Are you stuck? I just- This whole area is stupid. I know. That's my least favorite part about this area is because of the mazes everywhere. Yeah. But in between the mazes, it's fun. Oh yeah, no, it's got some good, it's got some fun gameplay and some really nice environments. Like you know, running around this castle, 
Brandon. So how's the music that we can't hear? Music's good. It's very moody. It's very somber. I also would probably like the town theme a lot more if I didn't spend like half an hour one day, or more than half an hour, like... Well, can't remember the exact amount of time, but just ridiculous amount of times hearing it, trying to figure out the bazaar when I was a kid. Ah, uh, the time before the internet. You found thumbs. Yep. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, there are some really weird noises going on right now. Yes, I'm sure they must be very weird. You're being so bitter. I do recall one of those dudes saying that bookshelves in the East Library had gold backsides or something. Yeah, the thing is, though, Giant. I don't know how the dog can turn them over. Why would he want to turn them over? Get out of this fucking maze. Yeah. But, what? How the hell would that be of benefit? Unless the goal is to get to the East Library by looking for the section of this which has gold backs or something. I don't think they actually have gold backs. I think that it was just like telling you that check the you should check the backside of the bookshelves. Yeah, but I don't know. Push that one in front. No, I tried. I mean, the thing is, I don't know whether it's a hint for the dog or a hint for you later. Yeah, because this game is really stupid. And there goes the bestiary for the book. Awesome. <laughs> Finally gave um, up the ghost, did it? Yep! <laughs> Time for me to sit up and start... This one had better be better than the map of the Ogling Caves. <laughs> the Ogling Caves was the worst. Was it really worse than that tube puzzle earlier? Yeah, it was. Was it worse you than Moo? It wasn't worse you know than Moo. Moo is just stupid. You know what I'm gonna start doing for future episodes? What? Even though I know you are stubborn and don't want it, I'm gonna start following your progress on a map. So that if you ever get lost, we can just... Fine. <laughs> Fine. Okay, I've gotta find the old lady. Which is number 22. <laughs> well, that's helpful. And I am in... God, this section sucks! I was just on 16. And I still can't find 22 on this map. Oh, there she is! There she is! Oh, it's close! Awesome! How are you supposed to figure that out? You're not. You're supposed to need probably the manual or something to be able to get it. No, I have the manual. The manual doesn't go this far. It goes up to, like... I think it goes through maybe... Oh, shit. I can't even remember. It goes through Prehistoria, I think. Alright, let's see if I can... Yet yeah, you gave me a key, but how in the hell am I supposed to use it? You're not. You're probably supposed to meet up with your other guy. Okay. Well. Thrilling gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
stupid. Well, you see, the, this is what the problem with games that were made before game developers realized that providing no hints on where to go was dumb. Thankfully, developers of more modern games have actually grasped this concept. Over this way. What? What? Okay, let's go down. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. Go over here. Fall down a pit. Why is this place completely deserted, by the way? Because everyone's busy at the party. And they didn't want to make it a stealth section. Every single person in the entire castle. Yeah. They didn't want to make it a stealth section. Yeah, yeah thank God for that. That'll be just the final icing on the cake. Oh, well, we found the kitchen. That we started out in. I guess. Okay. Let's try going up, over, up, over. Just think, chances are this a ROM hack that where the entire game is this. <laughs> It's also a fourth stealth section and an escort mission. Nah, programming wasn't advanced enough to do escort missions for Super Nintendo. I'm sure they could, as ROM hack on modern systems, could find a way. Awesome, we found a dead end. Completely dead end. Fucking hell. Maybe you can equip the key instead of a collar. No, it's not even a equip item, see? And I can't can't go up and down on here. Guess the key just comes into play later. That's what I'm saying, is it's probably a key that your other character uses. I can't switch back to him. Pressing the select button, I can't switch back. Oh I know, you have to get to a certain location with the dog. But I don't you sound like a robot thing. again. God damn it. <laughs> That's a description of this video will be. Belt sounds like a robot and I hate dog maze. Is this any better? No. Not really. How about that? A bit. Okay, we're in nine. Where is nine on this map? Where's nine? Here's eighteen. We're getting there, kinda, I think. I don't know, keep working at it. It's not like we have anything better to do with this fucking dog news. Oh, I hate this music now. What? Talk again. Nah, it's still pretty bad. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, this is painful for me too. No, I just meant the mic. The microphone. Oh. That's painful for me too. There we go! Yay! You fucking did it! We found one of the eggs. We found some way of getting out, I think. Okay. 
So is this any better? Yeah, you sound fantastical. Okay, great. Final fucking me. Alright. Damn it. <laughs> I hate this place. Okay, 20. 20 leads to 19, which hopefully leads to a fucking open door. Why is every single door locked in this place? How are people supposed to get around? Okay, we did it. Fuck this place. Thank God we're done. We got out of dog maze, everybody. Perhaps a better title would be How I Learned to Stop Sounding Like a Robot and Eat the Dog Maze. So tell me, Mr. Badass McSexy, what do you think of my new castle? I like it! It's really... clean? Immaculate? Spotless? Without flaw? Yeah, sure, I guess. It's well past time for the main dish, don't you think? I run a tight ship here, and I don't like to wait. What could be taking so long? Where's my meal? The meal ran away. This is an outrage! Who's responsible for this filthy beast? Names! I want How names! How dare a dog leap onto the table and just cause the food to vanish into thin air? That would be me. Make a mockery of my banquet, will you? Let's see how you feel after a night in the dungeon. Guards! Take these people away. I don't know. Okay, buddy. Had your fun? Oh, God. Oh, I've seen your type before. Start by messing up your room and winding up years later messing up banquets. And your furry friend looks like a real troublemaker. Come along now. <laughs> I'm gonna lock you up now. Do you want me to save your progress? What happens if you do, I'd rather call a lawyer. Yeah, well, let's save and find out. No, okay. Well, I actually do want to save my game. So I don't have to go through that stupid shit again. What is it with every single one of these games you play and having incredibly long, annoying maze sections? Because they have to make up for other moderately decent sections of the game. Welcome to your new home. Now get in there. Make yourself comfy, you're gonna be here for a long time. So it's actually see if you can fit through the hole in the wall. Now the key will probably come into play. Boy, am I glad to be out of that cell. Funny how they didn't take your multiple. Oh Jesus weapons. Christ! Okay, guys, guess what? This is looking like we've got more pipes. Oh, joy. Just what we needed in this place. Another maze section. Go I can't say how much I want to see another tube maze. Oh, God. It's a mini tour. Oh, no, I guess? He was a boss from a few episodes ago. No, he was a mini-boss, wasn't he? Yeah. Very definitely a mini-boss, actually. Let's see what Lance does. Okay! Well, it's a, it's a really low level. What do you expect? Yeah, and there's an enemy from the very beginning of the game. I don't even remember that. He was one of the guys that it's attacked the you Zach blew up with the bazooka. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Now, if only you had the bazooka again. Yeah, if only. Alrighty then. Some sort of way of hacking the game to get the bazooka the 
rest of the time. Alright. Over here. Over here. Over here. Gonna fight some more rats through the sewer and the maze and the two maps again. By the way, I don't have a map for this, so we're gonna spitball on it. Oh god damn it. Do you take damage from being in that water? Yep, from the looks of it. Oh god damn it. Just what the tube maze needed. Yep. But hey, we got a nice little boost to our HP, so we're fine. Yeah, but still, now they have to make it poison water. Over here, over here. Hey, you, jackass. Thank you very much for visiting an old man. I can teach you a powerful alchemy. Oh, okay. He gave me corrosion. Well, let's ditch Revealer, because we're never using that spell again. And equip it. What does it do? Um, well, I'm guessing it has something to do with acid rain. Let's test it out on these rats. Yeah. Well, I guess it works. Yes. That was a surprisingly lenient tube maze. So glad we're out of this. I agree, Solid Sexy. We'll probably stink for a while. Oh no, a guard! Thought you could escape. Hide in your cardboard you. box! You're coming with me. Do you smell something? I'll hope not. I swear, if you get sent back to the dungeon, I'm gonna be so pissed. Your Majesty, I've brought the prisoners as requested. Ha, Mr. Bass, it's sexy. It's sexy. You act so harshly at the banquet. I just hate it when things don't go as planned. Uh, that's okay. We're really sorry for the mess we made. We're hoping that maybe you could help us find our way home. We time for that later. This meeting is really about me, my needs, and we have the castle in the kingdom. A castle I don't keep is our home, former home, and it is filthy. Okay. Other side of the chessboard plateau. Go down the ravine, come up the other side, and open the drawbridge from within. Then my people will march across the ravine and take Evan Keep by force. Okay. And on the chessboard, you have to play a game of chess with gigantic pieces. Kinda. Cool. So, uh, Bit, where exactly did you stop playing, do you remember? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere around here. Okay. Probably stopped playing as soon as he saw the tube maze. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we're off to Ebon Keep. Hey, what's that around your neck? A key! I don't know where you got it, but I'll hang on to it. So what is it a key to? It's the master key. So why don't you go open all those locked doors and get into all those nice treasure chests? That's the plan! Ah, perfect. <laughs> oh, this music again. Can't carry any more biscuits! Yes, yeah, it's, it's, 
terrible music, I guess? Found wings. Cool, I love Paul McCartney. What's that on the table? Food. Oh. Found mushrooms. Awesome. Found some iron. Found some honey. What does honey do? Uh, it is the top level heal item. Gotcha. So nectar isn't actually a full heal. It's just that it was a full heal because of how much it healed. Yeah. There's petals, honey, nectar, and then honey. Makes sense. Okay. Years ago, my wife's poor sight let her fall down one of the heat vents. I haven't seen her or my skeleton key since. I have your key right here. Well, thank you very much indeed. You're very helpful. I can help you with a very powerful alchemy formula. Fire power! Alright, well, what does it do? I don't know, but we're getting rid of corrosion for it. It's got a burning human as a sprite. I'm guessing it's pretty freaking powerful. You'd better upgrade that... that thing a bunch, I suspect. Uh, I don't think so, because it costs a thousand for five units. Better be damn powerful, then. Yeah. Let's see, what does... Yeah, we're going to be using Crush a bit more. Well, no, we can't use Crush. We're going to be relying on weapons a bit more. Well, try this firepower thing, too. Okay, we're going to try that out, then we're probably going to call it an episode. And we found the dungeon. Fantastic. Great. Just what we needed to find. Yep. Oh, wait, I just... I just checked the book, and it says that firepower deals damage equal to the kid's energy. Current energy. Don't okay. know if that's... I don't know if that's 282 or 100. I'm guessing we just, thought bit, just lost bitwise. Yay. Did we? I don't know. Yeah, we did. Well, if there's only three people in the call, we clearly didn't lose you. Yep. Okay. B is to chessboard, which is down. Alright, here we are. More of these fuckers, great. Yeah, that's useless. Well, you did split it up over three guys, that's pretty decent. That's better. Yeah, but how are you gonna supply that spell? Um, I am going to be frugal. You just 
sword on him. Very frugal. Now you can do a spin attack. They're also really not hurting you. Yeah, but it's really annoying. Okay. So anyways, Build, what do you think about that whole thing that we were talking about last episode with the, uh, Modern Warfare thing? I really don't know, because I haven't even seen the game, really. Well, yeah, that's the thing, I mean... I mean, I don't know about it... About it how much the game engine makes any sort of difference, really. Because it's not well, what the game engine is, it's how you use the engine. Whoa! Okay, so, this are this is like one of my favorite boss fights in the entire game. Just what because of the how- What the fuck is that? It's a gigantic- It's a gigantic knight. It looks literally like it's designed- Fortnite? Yep. What? So that... <laughs> what? Yep. It's a gigantic knight that is just a head hopping around on one foot. Is that right? Yeah. Where is it the people who designed this are the same people who designed Pokemon? Seriously. No, no. That was done by Nintendo. That was done by Nintendo Japan. This is I know, Square I know it Square wasn't, but it looks the same sort of design principles of make completely absurd things. Yeah, that's what makes this game awesome. Alright, well, we're gonna call it an episode here, because, quite frankly, I'm tired. And we'll see you next time.